Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 17.5 of my Let's Play of Momus Quest Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter. So, this is an Elias aside, going through Gold Volcano. There are some slight differences here. As usual, Elias is unenthusiastic about the elemental spirits in the first place. Otherwise, the introduction to the area is the same. Oh, Helios does say that since we've come this far, we've got enough experience to here to overcome this challenge. And while she hates the spirits, yes, we've come this far, so she isn't going to complain anymore. Yeah. I believe her, don't you? She also says we're going to be enslaving the spirits rather than, you know, anything that could be called a contract. But, you know, semantics. Now oh, you come here, Luca. Same basics. Well, same exactly so far. Yep. Undine picks a fight with Salamander just like before. Ah, jeez. So, no change in this conversation. Yep. And they continue quarreling. Kill each other, kill each other. No, is what I want to say, but first, entrust your power to Luca. Then you can kill each other as much as you like. That's the list for you. That's right, we should do what we need to do first. So the power of fire. Now, what's different about this Elias aside? Well, Ground Barrier shows up as well. You're here to defeat us. Well, we've been face to face before, but this time I've been ordered to kill you. Oh man, what pressure. Salamander observes something, but keeps it to herself. Alright, it's a fight, hero Luca. By my master's orders, I'm here to take your life. Well, we can't bolt back here. Let's go, Luca. Right, no matter how strong an enemy she is, we cannot retreat. So, the Elias aside is basically about the fact that you fight the Rambelia if you have Elias in your party. Well, you are actually pretty accomplished. It's true you may threaten the Mao one day. Man, it's like it's not even working on her. Alright then, now I'll get serious. You don't need to push yourself unreasonably, Granberia. Master. Well, that's something she doesn't say in the Alice route. Do you think I've overlooked the doubt behind your sword. It's true that our power is well below yours, but our eyes are not clouded. Mm. Well, I can't lie to you, Master. There is indecision behind my sword. I'll acknowledge it. Hm. If you're willing to admit it, then there's nothing more to say. So, take that sword of yours and reconsider what you need to do. On that particular level, these guys here are higher than you are. Some levels, in fact. They know what they are fighting for. And they're willing to see it through. Aw, oh, bam! I pledge you another battle in the Mao Castle. 
when that time comes, I, I will face you with my sword without hesitation. Uh, yeah, certainly. We're going to the Mao Castle. I'll be waiting, Hero Luca. Hmm, interesting. So, she's a clumsy girl. No matter how strong she gets, she's still so naive. Hmm. While she was still... While she still had her doubts, maybe we should have taken the opportunity to kill her here. Probably next time we meet her, she'll be damn serious. Yeah, thanks, Helios. So... I think the rest of this is the same. Alright, so, contracts with the four spirits. We finished the orders from Luca's dad's message. So, to go according to the history, what was next? Again. Probably the Mao Castle. We don't know, etc., etc. Considering the shape the world's in now, it'll probably be necessary to defeat the Mao. But before that, we need to go to the last important mission we have in gold, the gold region. West from the Noble Women's Village into the desert, the Tartarus. But to get there, the Nightmare Barons. So let's go for the Gold Regions Tartarus. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but. Well, I don't remember if you've seen this yet. But Tatsuko, the Marine. This is her message that there's new stuff to claim at the Marine headquarters. So, sure. You're on the special mission, right? Per the Admiral's orders, you receive the following. Boost drink, remedy, prism knife, prism bow. You know, I bet these prism items are the things we make with Niji. With a uh, rainbow, rather. The new material that Puppy's going to learn next. Oh, some kind of shoulder guard. Shine deflector. Roast chickens. Three of them. You know, we ordered that roast chicken all the way back in Galdal, and we never got a roast chicken. That sucked. Okay, so this has been short, so I'm going to go through here. I'm prepared this time. So once we pass through these barrens, we'll be in the desert, in which we'll find the Tartaros. Also, there's the Behemoth Bird. I need to figure out a good name for that one. Anyway, the Behemoth Bird's Ruins. And a mysterious ruin. Well, the mysterious ruins are mysterious because we don't know anything about it. But what about the other ruin? Well, a dirty monster bird can be resurrected there, but... Well, in the worst case scenario, we may need to do exactly that. But for now, we need to pass through this hill. So concentrate on that. After that, we arrive in the desert. Alright then, let's go. You can rest in this house if you want to. Ah, oh, there I am. This is much shorter than the more recent mazes we've had to go through. See? Bam. So, having gotten through the Nightmare Barrens, we're in the desert region. If we go west, there's the Taros, but before that, let's go northwest 
to the great bird's ruins. There's something she'd like to confirm there, so and we can also rest. Yeah, from all the battles we had. Well, this is a mysterious atmosphere. This is the holy birds. Uh, let's not call them ruins, let's call them... We'll call it the circle. The holy birds circle. There's a high probability that it, we'll need to use it soon, so we wanted, so she wanted to come and check it out. It seems the facility still remains, and the ritual can be done. Since the calamity has changed the landscape in so many places, it could have been a problem. But turns out it wasn't. A spring of recovery, but the circle itself. So the facility's functionality has not been harmed. If it's like this, we can resurrect the monster bird. So what's this monster bird? If you bring the six orbs here and offer them up, you do the ritual and what comes out is the giant bird. Although it's a type of monster, it's usable as a vehicle. <laughs> but we don't have the six orbs on us. In order to do the ritual, we need to we'll have to come back later with all of them. If we do resurrect that bird, we'll be able to get to the Mao Castle, right? Yeah truly does seem like we're going to need it someday. But that comes later. For now, the Tartarus to the west. When I did my walkthrough, I didn't even know this was here. This place is called the Destroyed Lands. Okay, this is the Mysterious ruins we heard about in rumors. This is... It could be Promestines. Without a doubt, there are Chimera-type monsters in the vicinity. Luca, leave here at once. To us now, this place is too dangerous. But... But... Do not hesitate and talk back. We are running away. Here, there may be somebody that, whom we must not meet. Hmm. Interesting. That this place is dangerous. Too dangerous. Luca can even feel it on his skin. So, we shouldn't go in. It'd be best to leave. I'm a rebel! Okay. Here's the door. Immediately next to it, there's a card reader. Hmm, if we don't have a card key, then we can't open this door. Should you run something through the card reader? Let's see, a playing card, an Eliasville postcard, or nothing. Playing card. Man, I was sure that was going to work. Next up. Eliasville postcard. Nothing. What a ripoff. Well, it seems like we can't continue any further here. But, on the other hand, it could be that this is fortunate for us. Why would you use a Elias postcard anyway? This place is nowhere near Elias. Let's go to Savasa. I bet Savasa has some good postcards. Uh, anyway. Next, we're going to go into tar the Tartarus. And that'll be its own episode. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see what happens in there next time.